this is 2009 AP Physics B question. Um, I also attached the link where you can find the question and the, um, the gradient part of the question. This is just explanation. And always before you start watching the video for the question, please try to solve it before um, you watch it. So the question says, in an experiment, students are to calculate the spring constant k. So what needs to be found is k of a vertical spring in a small jumping toy that initially rests on the table. When the spring in the toy is compressed at distance x um, from its uncompressed length L sub zero, so you see this is when it is compressed, distance x. So when it's relaxed, it would be L sub zero length. And the toy is released. The top of the toy rises to the maximum height of h. The above of the point of the maximum compression. The students repeat the experiment several times measuring h with objects of various masses tap taped to the top of the toy so that the combination of the mass of the toy and the added object is m the bottom of the toy and the spring each have neglectable masses mass compared to the top of the toy and the object taped to it. Derive an expression for the height, mass, compression, in terms of, or in terms of mass, um, compression, and the constant, and the fundamental constants like acceleration due to gravity and so on. So these are the information. So the information that is given, so the information that is given to the problem is this uh, spring constant. I can use it in my formulas. Uh, compression, the mass of an object, which is changing every single time. So I have k, x, and the mass, and the gravitational constant. So this is the information that I can use, and I have to derive the expression for the height of the um, object when it jumps up. So I'm going to say the potential energy of the, uh, of the spring, potential energy of the spring is going to be converted to the kinetic energy of the spring, of the spring after its um, compression is done. And all that kinetic energy is going to be converted to the potential gravitational energy of the spring. So I can skip but kinetic energy because they don't ask me about the velocity. So potential energy of the spring is equal to one half k x squared. K is given, x is given, and equals to m g h. So the formula for h is equal to k x squared divided by two m g two m g so my expression for h in terms of m x and k would be um, k x squared over 2 m g with the spring compressed a distance of 0 0.02 meters in each trial the students obtained the following data for different values of the mass So they give you different masses. So the mass is given. The mass is given. And they obtain different heights. And every time they compress the same distance. So every single time x is the same compression. And the masses are different. For B part, in quantities should be graphed which what quantities should be graphed so that the slope of the best fit this is very common question that they give on AP exam the slope of the best fit straight line through the data 
points can be used to calculate the spring constant. So I need to find the spring constant. So the slope probably has to be a sort of some kind of relationship with the spring constant. And we know that um, the force is equal to kx. So let's see what how, how we can use this information to find out the, um, the k. So if I use the equation that is found for h, I need to rewrite it so I can obtain the um, graph. So h could be my y, then um, I'm going to use y is equal to mx. h could be my y, uh, h could be my um, y, and then I can, I can have k and um, the mass is, so I could also have, I could also have k, x is always the same, so I can have it as a constant, and 2g is a constant, and times 1 over m. So you have two variables in this um, problem. Y is the result that depends on the mass. So if you're trying to graph the graph, you could do H equals to, so H is your Y, X is your 1 over M, and your slope is going to be equal to KX squared over 2G. So if I am graphing my graph, I need to find the values of 1 over m. So I'm going to find all the values of 1 over m. And um, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to find all 1 over m values, and then I'm going to look at the graph. So the answer for the first part in B would be what values do you need to graph the graph? Um, I would say h is my y and x is 1, one over m. So now if I am going to, and I've calculated 1 over m values. So now if I go to my graph, <laughs> and this is what they ask you to do, oh, and be fill in both um, blank columns with a table with calculated values of your yeah. quantities. So um, we fill in the table as they ask for the second part. Fill in the both sides of the table with the, which are given as a blank quantities. So we fill in 1 over m and I can use h and 1 over m to graph my graph now. So I'm going to pause it and graph the graph and then now I'm going to unpause it. So in C it says, on the axis below, plot your data and draw the best fit straight line, label the axis, and indicate the scale. So I use the data that is given here, um, and the one that I calculated, 1 over the mass, to draw the graph, h over 1 over m. So I took the points from the table, plug them in. And as they said, you will not get credit unless you label the axis. So you have to say it is 1 over m. You need to show the, core, uh, the measurements and what's measured in and indicate the scale. And you have to show um, what the divisions are, what the scale is of your graph. Now for D, Using your best fit line, calculate the numerical value of the spring constant. Mm -hmm. So going back to um, our expression, we have the slope is equal to the slope is equal to kx squared over 2g. So I know that the slope 
is equal to kx squared over 2g. And they take for every value of x, uh, 0.2, here it is. They take every value of x, 0.2, so that is a constant. So I don't have to worry about um, that number, I just mm -hmm. plug it in. What I need to find is the slope. And so if I take these two points, the first one and the last one, and try to find the slope, um, the rise over the run, then I will plug it in. So I'm going to say my slope is equal to the rise over the run. And on my graph, on the x-axis, I have the lowest point is at 17 and the farthest point is 50. So that's 50 minus um, 17 for the run, 50 minus 17. And for my y-axis, it goes from 0.18 to 0.49. So I have 0 0.18, 0 0.49, and 0 0.18. So my slope is equal to 0.0094. Then I'm going to plug in my values. So k I'm looking for. x squared is 0 0.02 squared. Just to check. 0 0.02 squared and 2g is 20 is equal to 0 0.0094 so k is equal to 469 469.7 newtons per meter and for e part um so the red one is d part. For e part, um, they ask you to describe the procedure for measuring the height h in the experiment, given that the toy is only momentarily at the maximum height. So in order to measure to what height an object gets, I can have um, a camera, an eye, and I have a ruler and when the spring is rising up and then falling down I can slow down the motion and I can detect to what height it rose this is one of the ways the other way I can have a timer and I can figure out how long it took to the top and to the bottom divide by the time it took to get to the top only then I will know initial velocity if I know initial velocity and I know um, final velocity is zero, I can figure out average velocity. So the height would be the average velocity times the time it took to get to the top. So there are two different ways that I see that could be used to detect the, to the height to which the object rises. And that's about it. That was 2009 question in the AP Physics B.